Welcome guys in my YouTube channel. Today we're going to unbox and program this Elitech STC-9200A-02 into freezer setting. And it has a two NTC sensor. Uh, this one is being passed to me because the one uh, this is passed to me he doesn't know how to program this so I'm going to show it to you guys so he won't be fall I'm going to show it to you this guys this is very simple and according to him this is not as important to him here there are only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 parameter. And for that, we're going to pull out the unit there. And I'm going to supply only a line and a neutral. And together with this two sensor here. Let's begin with the two sensor. I'm gonna show you on how to wire it up. Just join the two here, and if you see the terminal number 8, just plug in these two here to the terminal number 8, there. And the other one to the terminal number 7, simple as that, by the way this control is equipped with chiller and freezer if you use in freezer make sure that you program all these parameters here and that is what I want to teach you guys on how to do that if you want this control wire it to 5 and 6 your 5 will be your line and you need also to wire the one so you have the two line here five and one but right now i'm not going to wire that because we're only our intention on here is to program it here i also supply the terminal number one as my hot wire or light wire so we can activate the compressor defrost and the evaporator fan and there is it we're going to run this here 5-6 okay and power this on there first thing to do here is to change the set point and to do that, just simply press the set button here. And let's change negative 5 to negative. Okay, I cannot change it. I can't go beyond. So I stuck at negative 20. Uh, okay, to enter the parameter, let's press this button here in our down button. Just press them together, long press it, and when HY appear, we can now change the HY. And I'm going to program that to 5 degrees Celsius. Then press set. And my LS is reset. See, that's why I cannot change. Okay, this is our standard temperature, negative 23. Reset to memorize. And my US should be negative 18. Reset. And I'm going to change that to negative 18. There. Reset to memorize. OT, just leave it blank or let it set it to zero. That is room calibration, AC, 
Okay, that's it. That's it. This is normal. 3 degrees Celsius. TD. TD is in the default mode. We have a selection here. Electrical and hot gas. Reset. We choose electrical. Take note. Once you program this control or any control into freezer, always change electrical. I'm gonna show you that there is another option there. This is hot gas defrosting. So we choose electrical that is default. Reset. DE. Defrost is top temperature. Reset. Let's lower down the let's lower down that to 8 degrees Celsius. That is ideal. And ID, defrost cycle, reset. Uh, six hours is ideal for chiller. If you go to freezer, set that to four or five. Every four hours, the freezer will defrost, reset to memorize. Then the MD, ND here is the max duration. Max, defrost duration, reset. And the default is 30 minutes. We're going to change that to 20. Then reset. And DF panel display during the frost from here if we choose RT cabinet temperature will show you if you choose IT cabinet temperature when the frost start it will show you for example the defrost happen at negative 18 until the duration of the 20 minutes defrost what show you is negative 18 and let's enter that again for 7 minutes of inactivity or 15 seconds in activity we're going to lose the program let's enter the programming again by pressing the set and R down button and let's proceed to to DF press set and the default is RT but we're going to select DF here. Set point when the defrost happen. My set point is negative 20. This will show up. RT uh, cabinet temperature. It shows during the frost. It shows the real temperature of the cabinet. IT. This is a cabinet temperature when the frost start. And let's. Select DF. This is the best for me because when it defrosts, DF appear meaning defrost. And DT gripping time after defrost. Going to set that to this is two minutes. If you want three, you can go with three. Temper set three minutes. FC uh, fun stop. FC fun running mode. Reset. Uh, we're going to select CN. CN is stand for fun start and stop simultaneously with refrigeration and stop during the frost. On fun keep running and stop during the frost. CY fun start and stop simultaneously with refrigeration. OY fun keeps running so this is 24 7 that's not ideal so we're going to select for on here fun keeps running and stop during the frost then press set for the fs fun stop temperature the man manufacturer set it to zero zero we're going to program this to into 25 ideally so during startup the temperature of the cabinet is 38 or something when it reached reach 25 degrees Celsius, the evaporator sensor sends that and it will activate the fan motor and press to memorize and after that AU appear alarm limit reset and we're going to set this into negative 12 negative 10 okay no problem with that so this, this will be my highest temperature then reset and lowest temperature lower alarm limit reset i'm going to set that to 28 or 30 minus because this is my point i'm just adding a little bit 
and then proceed. So this will be my lowest temperature. Once the sensor reads this value, it will trigger an alarm, then proceed. And I'm going to delay that the two uh, parameter here, the upper and lower alarm limit. Proceed. 15 minutes is overkill. We're going to set that to three minutes delay prior to the activation of this alarm. Proceed and we all done with the programming reset again fine i'm going to explain that briefly and uh, the hy guys is the differential and this differential we put it to five degrees celsius and i also program the st is this the set point and our set point is negative 23 degrees celsius and our uh, ls which is the lowest lowest set point is same with my with my set point which is negative 23 and my hy no, 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 my US, I mean, is set to negative 18. At this stage, the compressor will turn on, cut in. While in this temperature, compressor will cut off. And we have negative. 23 minus 18 is 5 degrees Celsius and this is our differential and after that we have OT just set it to 0 and after that anti short cycle we set it to 3 minutes and we have TD this is the defrost temperature the TD defrost mode we select that for electrical because we are in freezer and after TD we got DE this is the defrost stop temperature we set it to 8 degrees celsius and our ID defrost cycle we set that to every 4 hours it will automatically defrost and the MD if this is the length of the frost we said that 20 minutes but don't worry the 20 minutes are going to happen once the the frost the the frost stop temperature once the sensor of the evaporator sense that it's already 8 degrees celsius it will cut it will cut so it doesn't matter how many minutes you're going to put here as long as the uh, evaporator sensor is active and after that, we have the DF parameter panel during the frost. Just simply select DF meaning the frost. During the frost, this will appear in the display. This will appear. And DT dripping time, we set that to 3 minutes. Then FC, we set FC into on. Uh, on the evaporator fan keeps on running and off during the frost and FS fan stop temperature we set that to 25 degrees celsius so it will activate AU this is high temperature alarm we set that to negative 12 degrees celsius and the AL lower temperature alarm we set that to negative 28 degrees celsius and we delay the activation of that into 3 minutes so that's all if you want to program this into chiller if you want to program in chiller now we have HA alarm because the sensor 
not sensing any coolness for this is for freezer uh, for chiller we have a standard temperature of one degree celsius to five degrees celsius this is our standard for the hy set up to four degrees celsius and for the st set that to set point one degree celsius and for the lowest set point set that to five degrees and for the lowest i mean same one degree celsius and for the highest set point set that into five degrees celsius five minus one is four so this is our differential and ot take note guys huh? the differential this is the cut in of the compressor cut in of the compressor same with this cut in of the compressor the negative thing here is the value when the uh, compressor will start again at this value negative 18 but what trigger the cutting of the compressor is the value you put in the hy and then after that OT just set it to zero if you want to calibrate that you can go and calibrate you can for the calibration you can zero you can go to one two three four five and so on and you can go to negative one negative two negative three negative four and so on there's a limit I guess the limit is up to five up to I haven't checked yet I'm not sure just check the manual and for the AC just put three minutes and for the TD the frost type now this is tricky guys because you can the chiller can operate without heater so if without heater you can select electrical but if your unit is hot gas defrosting choose hot gas so if you choose hot gas just choose in or choose electrical if your unit is is chiller you may be choose the fan defrosting so choose electrical for fan defrosting if you choose your chiller equip with solenoid you choose hot gas defrosting so this is hot gas hot gas defrosting and for the defrost termination same just choose a degree celsius there for the uh, defrost cycle choose six no problem with the six every six hours it will defrost for the md you can go 20 here guys 20 no 20 minutes 20 minutes and for the DF label just go for DF again and same 3 minutes for the dripping time for the FC just select if you are in fun defrosting you should choose CY CY uh, evaporator fan runs with compressor on during the frost take note guys you should choose CY for FC and then for fan stop temperature same use 25 degrees celsius and for the AU okay the highest temperature our highest temperature here is 5 degrees celsius just add 7 so I'm gonna put 12 degrees celsius here so this will be my highest temperature and take a look we're encountering HA alarm and for the lowest temperature alarm we have 1 degree celsius yes, here as our lowest temperature so we just add 1 so we go to negative 7 degree celsius and we're going to delay the activation of this 2 value here into 3 minutes only okay this serve as your reference guys because this is our standard temperature this is our standard temperature use use okay thanks for watching everyone until next time bye, -bye.